Hi, in this episode of Toys Bag Zen, I'm going to be making some blast effects or fire effects for uh, my action figures. If you watched my last classifieds review, I opened up three classified figures and I did say that it's unfortunate that classified figures do not come with blast effects. So I've decided to see if I can make my own and here's a bunch of them that I've made. You can see here I've got a bat blowtorch and uh, you can customize these to make them any shape you want. There's definitely a technique to doing this, a, a bunch of techniques actually depending on what shape you want and here's one here. You can also make it in any color you want, small, large, you want lasers, you want uh, fire, you want, here I've I painted this with a, a black end on it to make it look like a bullet and all you really need is one of these, it's a glue gun and some glue sticks and to paint them you can have if you want to get fancy and use clear paint that's cool but if you just have some markers around the house uh, you can use markers and I did use a black marker for the bullet and you can also use the black marker for like uh, the end of fire or you can use a gray marker for smoke and uh, light grays and whites and you can also use paint for smoke too. I plan on making some of these with smoke. So let's get started. I'll show you so first you need some kind of frame or something to build the blast effect from with using our glue gun. The glue gun is what we're going to use to make whatever effect we're going to make. But you need some kind of structure that's solid. So I did a couple with some paper clips here. You can see this one here. It's got a pink insulation on it and you may not want anything that has a lot of color to it because you'll see it through the glue gun glue. And the hole that Hasbro puts in their guns seems to be a little larger in diameter than this. So uh, this doesn't work very well. What I did for the blowtorch is I drilled a hole a little bit deeper into the blowtorch using a smaller drill bit and here's one here it's quite small and so I did that and it seemed to work quite well so if you want to do that that's fine otherwise you have to find something that's the same diameter as the hole of whatever gun that you're making the blast for here I've got a piece of nylon it's clear nylon, which is what I like because it's clear like the glue that I'm using. And this is from a classical guitar. And with classical guitar strings, you can get all kinds of different thicknesses and gauges. And it says right on the strings when you get them what those gauges are. So you can measure what thickness the hole is and then get that particular gauge. This one and I tested this putting it in the hole of the classified of, um, weapons and it seemed to work. Yeah, 0 0.037 thousandths of an inch. So that's what I'm using to make the foundation of my blast effects. This does fit in pretty good, but if you want it to fit really snug, probably 0 0.04 or 0 0.042 would work best but it all depends on what you're making it for you could be making this for Star Wars uh, smaller GI Joe you know uh, masters of the universe could be for anything really now I'm gonna cut a long piece out of this because um, I want something to be able to hold on to this is hot glue that we're using so we do not want to burn ourselves so the longer it is uh, the better it is what I've found is as I'm putting the hot glue on, now I know this is hard to see because uh, it's, uh, it's clear, but you'll be able to see it here a little bit better here in a second. 
see if I can get it to focus on my finger. So with this one here, I'm going to just start. I don't want this one to be too long. And you're going to be tempted to want to put a whole bunch of glue on this. And then and then expect it to dry quickly and it won't. I guess it all depends on what kind of glue you have. I'm just going to put a little tiny bit on and I'm twisting it in a circle like this. And you need to let it dry or get cooled off before you put the next piece on. Otherwise it just becomes a big goop, goopy piece of um, glue and then it just drips off. So with this, I'm making the, I'm making a Tiger Force Bazooka. He was in my last review of the classified reviews. I'm making th uh, the blast effect for the back of his bazooka, because he's got a blast effect for that on the back of the bazooka, and it's going to be a large blast effect. So I want this to be quite large. So we're just going to let that dry or cool off and keep going around a circle otherwise it'll start to drip and then you won't get the effect that you want. Not only can you use, you know, uh, pointy objects here to pull out the the glue out to make different shapes and stuff. You can also use the tip of the glue gun too, which is already hot. also use some scissors to clean up anything that looks odd or weird in the process of making your shape and like that I really like that I think that looks really cool again like this is for bazookas bazooka so that's what we're going to use now I've pretty much showed you all the techniques that you can use for making any of these shapes that I showed you at the beginning. Depending on, like I said, you want it 
short or long or flame like to get this shape this is probably the easiest shape to get I'll show you how to do that You gotta let it cool off a little bit first, and then you can let gravity take over. If you let it do it too fast, it'll all drip right off the guitar string. And then when you're happy with that, you can cut it off. I like to cut it off at an angle. So it doesn't look like it's straight across. It's got some kind of shape to it. Like that. And you can do whatever you want. You can, you know, uh, paint it gold at the end to make it look like a bullet. And then you can use your yellows, your reds, your oranges, your grays. Actually, I like to use blue sometimes because if I'm if I want it to be like a Star Wars blaster effect and it's uh Star Wars blasters are blue and sometimes even red, so you can make that a blaster effect. This is great for when you're using it for um uh black series. And there you go. So I have a classified figure I just bought. I just bought a Python Patrol Viper. Let's get him out of the package and see if we can use these blast effects for him. So here he is, the Cobra Viper. It's the Python Patrol. Here is the artwork on the side. Really cool. Really great artwork. I'm glad uh, they came up with these in the single box because I didn't want the three pack. I found the three pack was actually way too much and uh, I don't want three of them on my shelf. I only need one. Uh, here is number 42 and here's his ranks. Let's get this guy out. So there he is. He's all weaponed up. He looks great. His helmet does not come off even though it looks like his helmet is a separate piece. It's not. It's just all one piece with his head. But he looks really good. You can see all the details here. I'm not going to go through everything. You can look for yourself and see everything. Let's see if I can get a close-up view of all this stuff. The um, holster on his right leg is a separate piece with a pistol in there. That does not have a blast effect hole, so you can't put a blast effect in that. That's too bad. You can see his boots, the details on his boots. And he's got pouches on his belt and all over his legs. He looks really good. He's got all the expected and correct uh, paint apps that you would expect with that cobra symbol on his right chest. 
and the Cobra symbol on the back of his backpack. He's got rope and grenades, all kinds of stuff. So it's really cool. So really what I got him out for is not really a review or anything, but let's test these blast effects and see if we can get them put on him. There is the blast effects. You can see you can have a lot of different shapes if you want to use them. We've got one here for... Um, this is Bat's blowtorch. So I made this one so that it looks like there's a flame being made here from where the gas comes out. So that was really cool. That's a really neat effect and I'm really excited about having these. So instead of the markers that I showed you earlier that I was using, I decided to pick up some Sharpies and they work much better. They're a lot more vivid and I also put some satin varnish on this because as you can see the whole video my fingers had ink all over them from the markers and so I think they will look much better and here they are here you can see I can touch them and the ink doesn't get all over my hands it also keeps the ink on the blast effect so let's get all these onto the guys and see what it looks like Here they are here you can see bazooka's blast effect on his bazooka it looks really good we've got some laser effects we've got some fire effects here with uh, the uh, python patrol bat you can see the laser the blue laser effects i have with tiger force outback and uh, and some bullet effects so you can pretty much do anything you want any color any shape if you can you know be patient and figure it all out and I, I think this looks really good it's gonna make my shelf look a lot better and I'm happy I made these I don't need every figure to have them but when I put these on display having one here and there in the display I just think gives it a little bit more movement to it so thanks for watching this episode of Toys Bag Zen. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in my next episode. Bye. Bye.